Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a jungle jar of your own. So this is a 12 inch cork mat, uh, which I got at Home Depot. Um, basically it's cork on one side and sort of like rubber on the other, just to prevent uh, gravel or whatnot from scratching the table. Um, so anyhow, uh, here is the glass cylinder itself. Um, this is a 30 centimeter wide by 25 centimeter tall uh, glass cylinder. As you can see, I've caulked a piece of beautiful driftwood in place. Uh, I just put a giant piece of uh, giant blob of caulk there, let it let it cure for 48 hours to cure it really hard. And uh, I scraped off a, a bunch of the excess caulk with a razor blade, and this was really tedious. It took like 20 minutes. I'll, I'll spare you, but uh, you've got to be careful not to scratch the glass. Okay, here's some water and just a piece of tissue paper just to get all the debris out. Um, and all, all the junk that's on the inside of the uh, inside of the cylinder from shipping and handling and whatnot. So I just I just wipe that out uh, and then I dry it. Um, and and also you probably want to pick up all the little debris that's on the bottom. But uh, again, I'll I'll spare you all the details. It, it takes about five minutes. Okay. So the next thing is uh, we've got to have some kind of filter. So this is a JP032 90 gallon per hour power head. It's not a filter because to be honest with you, I'm sort of getting away from filters. I just want circulation and that's really about it. Now, as you can see, I've sort of super glued uh, an elbow to the front of it to get a basically a circular flow, you know, a, a radial, uh, sorry, a tangential flow around the around the cylinder, but that's not absolutely necessary. Okay, so now I'm going to just pinch the wire uh, down around the edge of the cylinder <clears throat> so it descends straight down the back where you're not likely to see it. Uh, this thing is called a D-Wing, D-W-I-N-G. You can get it on Amazon. And uh, as you can see, it just opens up, and then you, you peel the backing off, and it'll help to affix the cord in place uh, because we definitely don't want the cord flopping around and catching on things. Um, so I'm going to stick that on the back. And sometimes they stick, and sometimes they don't stick so well. we'll so we'll uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, you might need two of them as well. Now watch that D-wing. A few minutes later, uh oh, uh oh, it's peeling off. Okay. Well, we'll take care of that in a minute. So this is a uh, this three sixteenths. This is a three sixteenths inch thick acrylic disc. If you just Google for acrylic disc, oh, these are acrylic bumpers. And we're going to put three acrylic bumpers, uh, equally spaced at 120 degrees each, right on the inside edge of this acrylic disc. And, and, and the acrylic bumpers are, are sort of rubbery, so they, they prevent the thing from banging and all that. But they also allow a, a few millimeters of clearance for air circulation, which is so important. Um, but they don't allow your fish to jump out. So there we go. we got three of them. Looks good. All right, now I'm going to super glue that stupid D-wing that came off. And uh, I'm not actually going to do it, but uh, you get the idea, and then you put it in place. And like I said, you might need a second D-wing. Um, and that's about it.